Hello everybody, this is Gold Glee Gamer one and welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. And that is how the ruffians managed to beat me. They are strong, to be sure. Very strong. Dare I say, they might be strong enough to defy the prophecy. Spare Count Black, your theatrics. The light prognosticus is false. The dark prognosticus holds the answer to eliminating heroes that rise to stop us. Oh my, that's the first time the morsel of information has touched my ears. Do tell! In due time, Dementio. In due time. Oh, Nastasia, it's time we set him on these pests. Yeah, um, I can take care of that for you, Count. Lovely, exclaimed Count Black. Return to your post, my dear minions. As you command, Count, hail Black! Does something trouble you, Nastasia? Yeah, Count. You know, there's still time. You can still change your mind. That is enough, Nastasia. We've already come this far, so shall we forge on? But you needn't stay by Count Black's side. You can deport with my blessing. No, oh, my Count. I won't be doing that. My life is already sworn to you. Yeah, it's belonged to you since the day you saved me. I'll be sticking it out with you until my game ends. If that pleases you. My, 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 how interesting. Nastasia and the Count have such deep conversations. So what is our dear Count playing at? Uh, I'll let him worry about that. I must attend to my own projects. Huh? You're crying. Why? Tiffany, you must tell me what has happened. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Just forget it. I'm just an ordinary girl. No matter how much I love you, we must part. Tiffany, I... This is goodbye, Blumier. There's no other choice. This is our fate. That was a little weird for a while, but we seem to have gotten through it okay. I'm so sorry, it was all my fault. And then you all... Thank you so much. Yeah. Wanna know how to thank me, Vunkus? Just stay out of my way, okay? Say, come to think of it, Bowser, could you be our third hero? Oh, there. I have been waiting for you, young heroes. Did you succeed in your search for the next pure heart? We sure did. I guess we did. Intriguing! So then, when you saved Tippy, the next pure heart just appeared? How very interesting! I think that castle was once a dwelling of the ancients I told you of earlier. It seems that my ancestors have roamed far and wide in their dimension trail travels. In the castle beyond the Great Sea, we hit a pure heart and it sealed it safely. Yes, I remember reading such a passage in Light Prognosticus. A seal could only have been broken by a powerful pulse of love and trust. So you think it was because Tippy began to trust us that we found this pure heart? That's amazing! And now there are three heroes. I don't know who the last one is, but waste no time in searching, my friends. Trust me, any problem comes up, I'll stop it into the next week. Oh, um, well met, Mr. Bowser. May you strength protect... It seems the void has expanded once more. Time is short. We have to keep going. We must start looking for the next heart pillar. There are matters I must attend to as well. I must search for any items of significance in the light prognosticus. Okay, but before we... We, um... We go for the next heart pillar. Um, I actually found out that if you travel back to chapter 3-1... Um, you'll find a, uh, another pixel. And we're gonna find it now. Oh, 
Oh, no. You want to hear the three tips again? Just say the word. Can't you see? That's really not necessary. Mario already saved me. No more hints? No way! You defeated Francis? Whoa, whoa, slow down! That's huge news! I'm just glad I can help with a daring mission to infiltrate the nerd lair. I guess there's no need for me to stay here and give out tips. I guess I've done my job. I got nothing to do now. Oh, hey, how about I tag along with you guys? Well, I've made up my mind. I'm coming along whether you want me or not. Barry the Prickly Pixel has joined your group. Use Barry to create a spiky barrier around you. That's pretty dangerous types wandering around here. Let's stick together. It'll be safer for both of us that way. Alright, we'll do it. Whoops! No, 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 no. I do want to return to flip side. Alright, and now let us find the next heart pillar. Supposed to be this way. Hey, the ones with downer. Oh, right here. Let's see, which one's the... Oh, this one's the down here. There we go! And that's where the next pure heart goes! Alright, so the next door should be open, but, however, we can't make much more progress uh, this there right now. But we can still go through the door to find out what we need to get next. Wait, wait a Do I have to enter here before we're visiting, uh, Merlin? Through the fierce battle against Francis, Tippy, and the Mario grew, gang grew closer. Behind a fourth door lay a whole new world that beckoned them to both. What awaited was vaster and stronger than anything they've encountered so far. In other words, to claim the pure heart, they would have to endure new far-out trials. Alright, so this is Chapter 4-1, Into Outer Space.
Stars everywhere. I believe we're in outer space, almost certainly. What troubles you, Mario? Ah, yes, of course. We seem to be lacking air. You need that, don't you? Gracious me, what am I to do? Well... Please wake up. You're all right, aren't you? Oh, thank goodness. I don't really know how I got all of us out of there. It just sort of happened. It won't last out there as well. Perhaps we should ask Merlin's advice. Okay, now I know for sure we can go see Merlin. But um, we're actually going to go through uh, Chapter 4-1 for real in the next video. But for right now, it's time to find that one thing we need in, or in order to be able to breathe in space. Okay, first order of business is to go see Merlin. Oh, well, that was certainly quick work. You've already found the next pure heart? Oh, Merlin, that door led us straight into outer space. Space? Oh no, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise. Yes, there was no air, so Mario and his friends couldn't breathe. What do we do? Hmm. Well, if you had a space helmet, you would be alright, I imagine. And you have one? Of course, I don't have one. But I imagine that even something like a space helmet would suffice. And I so happen to... Oh, blast it. What now? Oh, double blast it all. I cleaned out my shelves the other day. Yes, I had the perfect thing, but I was making space, and I gave it to someone in town. Oh, just some random boy. It seems more convenient than recycling it. You must find that boy and explain the situation. Get it back from him. We're on it. Okay, so now we gotta head up to the third floor. Okay. Oh. Huh? Did Merlin give me something like a helmet? You mean this fishbowl? Yeah, I kept Captain Gills here in a cup, but then he got too big for it. Yeah, that's why I got real happy when I got this fishbowl. Thing is, now the captain got so big, this bowl got too small for him. I know. Maybe you could find a nice place to set Captain Gills free for me. Captain deserves freedom. Then you get the fishbowl. That's good, huh? But where can he go? I want to know that he'll be nearby at all times. You got to help me. Alright. Okay, so where are we going next? Down to flip side B1. Okay, so I gotta find where that is. No, 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 I didn't mean to talk to you. There we go. Okay, another down elevator. This must lead to B1. This looks like a good place to release the captain. Release the goldfish here? Yes. How did the 
fish just jump out of that bowl? I figured Mario would have to dump it. Well, I guess that doesn't make a difference now. Huh. A crack here. Well, well, we may be required to do this later, but now nah, since I see it right now, let's make sure we take care of it. All right. And we're going to find use of that much later. But for now, let's get back up. Up a couple more floors. Okay, that's where we're going to stop for today. And next time, we'll go through Chapter 4-1 for real. And until then, this is Gold League Gamer 1. Later, folks.